Dan Hill is looking at Yeah. I was saying to David, because um, he's doing some videos here. Hello. Uh, Hello. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> We're going to talk about long case clocks. Are we just talking about Bournemouth? Oh, well, I prefer long case clocks yes. myself. But anyway, not to worry. And you're not a weirdo. <laughs> I'm not weird, no. <laughs> and neither's this man, David. <laughs> Good to see you. Pleased <laughs> to see you again. That bunch next door aren't very impressed with the fact that we're going to talk about long case clocks. They've got no style. They Exactly, exactly. They just do not know something that is brilliant. Exactly that. So you've got one you're going to show us, but first of all, before we do that, who is this? This is Dexter. Dexter, you He's are gorgeous. He's our assistant. Dexter, you are gorgeous. He takes the money. Oh, Dexter, I love you, I do. He's wonderful. So, and almost as wonderful is this long case clock. Yes, David, my favourite. tell us all about it. Right, it's a 30 hour clock, about 1740. 1740, so for the viewers at home, just try and let that sink in. 17. It's a long 40. time ago, isn't it? It's a very long, George II. Yes. This is before, because we get a lot of American viewers, before the American War of Independence. Really? In right. 1740, I didn't know that. <laughs> yeah. When this thing was made in 1740, America was part of the British Empire. Right. I think we should have it back, don't you? I no. think, yes. No, no. <laughs> Come on, ladies. Don't you want America back as a colony? I'm French. I don't get it. Oh. <laughs> yeah. no, they're too, yes. too complicated. Too complicated. All right, then. OK, we won't get into that then. But tell, but yeah. Yeah, tell us about say, it. 1740. Yeah. Uh, it's a single hand. Single hand. And you say 30 hours. 30 hours, yes. Meaning? The duration it would run. So you wind it every day? Yeah, basically. Yeah. Um, it's never 30 hours, it could be 32 hours, or yeah. it could be 26 hours. Fine. But it's, the terminology is 30 hour. And so you, you wind it day clock. And you wind it every 24 hours then? Yeah, basically, so yes. Every morning every, or every evening yeah, or whatever. Every yeah. morning, that's yeah. best. Because it's best to keep them running. Yes. Rather than letting them stand. And can we have a look inside? We can indeed. The case has never been touched. You wow. get a lot of cases that you know they don't like the holding yeah, so they've put yeah. a new backboard on it yeah but yeah. that's original isn't and that's that what's wonderful. important isn't that wonderful that long drop pendulum and here's the chain so this is how you wind it yeah i'll wind it up do you want to that would be nice wouldn't it so tell us what you're doing basically the that's the chain that winds it up yeah so you pull on the far chain yeah and that will slowly Raise the weight. Yeah, and here comes the weight. And, and that's literally a lead weight. It is indeed. Very heavy. Very heavy, yeah. So you do that every day. Every day. Get it going again. But it's best to keep them, you know, sort of moving. Yeah. And in time, because to alter the time, if it say it stops at two o'clock in the afternoon, yeah. and you want to set it for eight o'clock, you have to actually take it round to the next hour yes and let it strike of course so it, it makes sense to keep them running and, and people would though wouldn't they because they would be a really important part of family life exactly the long case yes. clock in the hallway must so. always be kept running because for, for many people it would be the only timepiece they would have very, very true unless very they true. went for a walk and they saw the church spire yeah. with, with 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 the clock yeah so case is made from oak that's true yeah. And the movement is a birdcage movement. Tell and us what... Basically, on most eight day clocks, the sort of pillars go across the actual movement. So if you, you've got a, a sort of like a square yeah. and you've got your clock face there and the pillars go through that hold it all together. On a birdcage, it's the opposite. I can take the hood off if you Go on, like. let's do it. Yeah, I mean, it, it's, getting, it's getting very technical, but interesting. So this is the hood coming off. It'll just come off very easily. Wow, look at that. Okay, let's go. Oh, so let's basically, just you have can a see look the at thing. that. Yeah. It's like a birdcage. It is like a birdcage. Isn't that just a thing of beauty? Um, I mean, it really is. It's called a single hand. Yeah. So that is just marker for your hours yeah and that's your marker 
for ten minutes. So at the moment, oh, God, that it's is. twenty past ten. Right. Single hand got you. Yes. It takes some getting used. To. It does, doesn't but, it? You know, I must admit, it took me a while. Yes, it does, David. Look at that working. Oh, oh, it's even it's got me. the original cobwebs. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, you've got to have cobwebs. And if only this was smell-o-vision, viewers, because yes. honestly, oh, you can smell the age and it's beautiful, it isn't is it? It is beautiful, absolutely. It's nice and plain. Yeah. On some clocks, you can get them very, very fancy. Crew Kern, where's Crew Kern? Um, Somerset. Somerset it is, isn't yeah, it? John yes. Thomas of Somerset. John Thomas of Somerset. The, the beauty of clocks is you can go into the history of them. Yes, yes. Um, you can associate clocks with where you live. That's right. And people um, do, don't they? They like to buy a clock from their local town. Do. Yeah. I had a beautiful clock, eight day uh, automata, uh, which meant they had moving parts up at yeah. the top. You've probably seen them with yeah, a ship yeah, or something. Yeah, yeah. This one had a couple in a room and the husband was going like that and she would go like that. Yeah. And they were having an argument, yeah. basically. Yeah. And that was a Horncastle clock and it went back to the hotel in Horncastle. Isn't that wonderful? That was fantastic, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Oh, it's a real passion of um, yours, this. Now, it I, is. I, I really think you need to shock the viewers all around the world because they'll be watching this video, looking at this clock that was made in 1740 with lovely Dexter there, thinking this is worth an absolute fortune. Once upon a time, yes, but because of the trend uh, people don't want the real dark furniture anymore, but that is a small percentage. People still want something that is part of the history. Mm. And they always sort of say, well, where am I going to put it? Mm. And I say, the best place is put it in a corner. Yeah. So if you're sitting on your sofa, you can see it. Yeah. If you're sitting at the side of it, you can see it. Yeah. You can see it from all three corners. And it's not gonna take up any room. That's and the people beauty always of it. think they they do, but they don't. No, they don't. I had at one point ten in our home. I'm sure you did. And it's, it had to stop when I wanted to put one in the bathroom. Ah! Uh, <laughs> yeah, Rosemary. Well, if you're in the there. bath, you need to know what time it is, exactly. David, don't you? Exactly. But come on, let's get back to the money because I think only a very small percentage of the viewers right now will understand how much this clock is worth. This is gonna be a shocker to you at home. Hold on to your seats. Made in 1740. David, how much is that long case clock worth? That clock at the moment is worth 645 pound. And that's Utterly. what I would hope to sell it for. But that is a fraction of the price it would have been. But doesn't it just go to show that these things are so cheap right now? Yes. And I think everybody should have at least one in their home. And at this level, at 600, 800 quid a go, my goodness me, just get buying them. Would you agree? I would agree. This is the time to buy them. Yeah. Now, before we go, can you expertly refit the hood I on the clock? Need. The clock actually comes in four pieces. You've got your movement, you've got your hood, you've got your weights, and you've got your case. It's and quite simple, it is. isn't it? Yeah, just to set it up on a level surface. Now, not all floors are level, as you can see. This floor slopes down towards the window, hence the packing. But of course, you've just got to jack them up, haven't you? Yeah, you've just got to tweak the pendulum. Okay, stand by. I'm just going to get a nice long shot of this, David. I'm going to say thank you very much to you. Mm -hmm. yeah. Very informative. To Great you. to meet you. I'm pleased to be back. Oh, well, I'm pleased. Vincent and Leslie are here in Harrogate. Yes, I mean, yes. Uh, they're doing a cracking job across they the country. The they're yeah. bringing life into it. Oh, they really are. Because, you know, uh, that's what we need. We need we do. sort of people that can see something that they want to buy. Va va boom, that's what we need, David, and you've got plenty of it. And so does that clock. Final look from a distance. Isn't that just delicious?